In the latest Journal of Medical Ethics, Dr. Robert Van Howe, a pediatrician, and Stephen Svoboda, a lawyer, severely criticized the methodology and ethics of the 2012 American Academy of Pediatrics Circumcision Policy. They say the policy suffers from several troubling deficiencies, including the exclusion of important topics and discussions, an incomplete and apparently partisan excursion through the medical literature, improper analysis of the available information, poorly documented and often inaccurate presentation of relevant findings, and conclusions that are not supported by the evidence given. Among the topics excluded are the anatomy and function of the foreskin, the harm caused by its removal, biomedical ethics, and human and children's rights. The incomplete and partisan survey of literature includes the refusal to consider case reports, case series, ecological studies, reviews, or opinions, the exclusion of studies finding detriment from circumcision, cost-benefit analyses that fail to find benefit being ignored, North American STD and HIV studies which consistently fail to find circumcision benefit not considered, and cherry-picking from within studies. The improper analysis includes internally contradictory statements, conclusions that do not follow from data, no risk-benefit analysis either of circumcision or intactness, and the AAP's move toward recommending circumcision in the US being based entirely on three African HIV studies. The poorly documented and inaccurate presentation, they include, they ignore findings against circumcision within studies they do cite, they get the numbers wrong, for example, in their measure of the cancer risk, they ignore the availability of a vaccine to prevent HIV, they fail to apply cost-benefit to urinary tract infection, the only risk of early onset where the child's opinion might reasonably be overridden, and they fail to the consider the cost of meiototomy, a very common surgery required after circumcision. And among conclusions not supported by the evidence, their call for third-party payment while still considering circumcision to be elective, and the idea that doctors should be brokers for the parents' culture. Accordingly, the critics say, the AAP should immediately retire its policy and replace it with one reflecting such critical concerns as the function of the lost tissue, medical ethics, and the importance of respecting non-consenting children's rights.